Okay guys, welcome back. This is the first actual video about browserless scraping. The last one was the introduction. We're gonna start, <clears throat> sorry, we're gonna start getting into some action and showing just how you can start downloading data um, ready for scraping without a browser. This is a very quick and simple video just to get your toes wet. But what you do guys is in your toolbox, instead of using the browser option, we're gonna use the HTTP client. So I'm going to keep it simple to start with, but there's going to be a lot of detail later on. So what you want to do is go to get, okay, get. So you're making a get request to a server to ask um, to download, in this case, the web page content, which is kind of what the browser's doing, but we're doing this without any graphics, no, you know, no waiting, no heavy lifting, okay? So what you do, like you did when you did the scraping with a browser, you just insert the page that you want to go to. I'm going to use my own website. And what you're saying is, hey, I, w I want uh, to take, you know, request this information um, and get, get the page. So you put OK. And it's done. There you go. So it's downloaded the page. So we could just, we could go um, here, sorry. Move execution point to do it again. Press up here, click, and it's done. There you go. So we downloaded the whole the whole front front page, the whole of the uh, the web data there. Now what we can do is use the content option here, and what that is is saves the content or the the page, the source code, into a variable which you can call what you like. I'm going to leave it as save content, and press OK. And just to add to that so we can see what's going on, I'm going to use the tools and then log so that we can see this saved content. So in the log, I'm going to put the saved content. Hit OK. I'm going to stop it. Oop. Technical error. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, and then I'm going to hit record and run even. And there you go. That's how we got it right there. And you'll see this is all the source code. This is all the saved content. So what we've done, guys, we've made a get request to the server, in this case, my server, um, the botempire.com, and said, hey, I want the page. I want the source code, okay? And as you can see, this is all the source code here. We've retrieved it from the server. So with this information, we can then start scraping the data that we want to scrape. And we'll do that in the next video, guys. Um, so just to recap, uh, you make a get request, okay? And then you can save the content in a variable, uh, variables we've gone over before, okay? Um, and then we can output that content like we have here in the logs, or we can then use that save content to grab data. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video.